Welcome, it's Facts You Don't Know. If it's your first time here and you want to find out new facts that will definitely make you smarter and more. Well, and for make sure to subscribe and active the notification bell so you don't miss anything. Husband abandons his wife for a stunning woman, but later regretted it all his life. There are times when we believe that nothing is going well, that we will be happy elsewhere and that we should go. But we must know that nothing is said in this life, that we must strive to have happiness. And if we don't, this will lead us to a life of regrets and sadness, from which it will be very difficult to get out. Happiness costs, but it is certainly something worth achieving. The next story begins like this. He had a comfortable life. It was a great moment. I had my son with me and everything seemed to be going for the best. But there was something that I no longer liked. It was my wife. Seeing her daily felt strange. It was no longer the same as before. She no longer fixed herself and stayed at home all day. When I saw it, I felt it was not for me. I had been working in a company for a long time. When I was sent to a meeting out of town, that's where I met Lucia. She was a beautiful woman, always groomed and with a big smile. She showed no concern. The most curious thing was that she stayed in the same hotel as me. In the dining room, we struck up a conversation and got to know each other. She told me that she had had problems at home, and that is why she decided to go on a trip and relax and see different landscapes. And seeing that she was telling me about her life, I decided to tell her something about myself. I told her that in my home, they did not value me, that I felt marginalized, as if I was the only one who brought money home. She invited me for a walk. That day was very entertaining. We had dinner, then we went for a walk and did so many things together. That night, I felt we had connected, and hours later, we both ended up under the covers. I felt like she was the right person. I fell in love with her. When I returned home, I did not lose contact with Lucia. She lived in the neighboring city. I felt that fate was putting her in my way so that I could be happy again. Every day, I left home for work and then went to see Lucia. My wife stayed home taking care of our son and making dinner for me. But there were times when it didn't come. She never said a word to me. She never revealed if she had any suspicions. I believed that she didn't realize it and that she was doing the right thing. Over time, I stopped going home, and one day I left home with suitcases, never to return. I wanted to stay with Lucia. My wife saw me. She chatted with me trying to convince me to stay, but I had already decided. My son was the one who hurt the most about my departure, but I always saw him on weekends, and he liked Lucia. I was happy. I felt that everything was going great. She always hung out with Lucia, and we had a great time. In my old house, my wife and my son only ate dinner, watched television, and went to sleep. I believed that everything was still fine. I never thought that I was hurting someone. Several years passed and I began to see that my ex-wife began to go out to parties with her friends. That made me happy. He believed that she was finally a little freer. The truth was that the grandparents asked her that my son stay with them and so that she would not be alone at home she went to parties with her friends. I found out through her social networks and seeing her groomed and smiling made me remember the beautiful moments that I had lived with her. These memories made me think about the decision I had made. At night, while sleeping next to Lucia, Solo looked at the ceiling and thought about what she had done. Was it really the best? It was something that racked my mind daily. So I spent my days and I realized that I missed who my ex-wife was. I wanted to hug her again her and my son. Now that I realized it, I had never tried to save my relationship. I just left because I felt like I wasn't happy there. In my routine, I never talked to who my wife was. I just hugged my son. I began to realize what I had lost. And one day I told Lucia that I no longer wanted to be with her, that I was no longer happy with her, and that I would return to my family. We started arguing. She yelled at me while I kept quiet. I took out my things. I came down from the apartment and she told me that she never wanted to see me again and slammed the door. I just prepared myself to know what to say to my ex-wife. She was going to humiliate me, even just to give me a chance again. 
I was sure of what he was doing, and I wouldn't let anything keep me from him this time. When I got to her house, I knocked on the door, and instead of my ex-wife or my son opening it, a man came out. He was tall and in good physical condition. I saw my son running out the door yelling, Daddy! Daddy! I knelt down to hug him, but surprisingly, Dad said to that man, he was very much my ex-wife's partner. Seconds later, she came out so beautiful. She was surprised. I saw her. I told them, I think I came at a bad time. I should better go. I grabbed my things and started walking. I felt strange, and in my mind I said, I have to get my family back. Not a week went by, and my ex-wife Maria traveled with her new partner and my son. They went to visit many places, and when they returned, he proposed to her. She accepted. He had been the person she needed. He was like a real father to my son. I felt twinge in my chest. It was as if I had been betrayed. Now I could imagine how she had felt when I left for someone else. I just couldn't get over it. I didn't want to get out of my bed and even lost my job. But that no longer mattered to me. All I wanted is for my son to come to me and call me dad and that Maria approaches me and fills me with kisses. Several years passed. I was alone. I never got over it. I thought I was going to be able to get it back, but they were better off this way. If I came back, it would only cause problems. Also, my family was happy now. They didn't need me. Truth be told, they possibly didn't even remember me. Now I was unemployed, depressed, and did not know what to do with my life. I didn't feel like moving forward and got stuck. He still had a lot of money from the years he had worked, so he would be fine for a few more years. One day in a cafeteria, I ran into Maria. I went over and tried to talk to her. She looked at me in the eye and said, Do you know that you hurt your son a lot? He stopped depressed all the time. He hardly spoke, and I had to stay with him daily, hugging him and telling him that you had a job for a while. A little older... And that's why he came alone sometimes. He cried. You were his father after all. Seeing him like that made me sad. But despite everything, in those early years, all I wanted was for you to come back. Like this for several years, until I got over you. I knew you would not come back, and that I needed to think about me and my son. And I did. I dedicated myself to him for a long time. And one day I met Rodrigo. He was someone so kind... I was surprised that he was still single. At first we dated as friends, but then I saw that he got along very well with our son and that he was very responsible and full of values. He was like the perfect man. He told Jose to stop calling him sir, and he better tells him dad. When I heard this, I just lowered my head. I finished my coffee and left. When I got home, I realized that she had never really stopped loving me. She was simply taking care of the most valuable, the fruit of our love, our son. And now I realize that I lost the great love of my life, the fruit that came out of that love and all the happiness that my family could bring me. My dear subscribers, life is very hard and making bad decisions will lead to a life of regrets. Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video in social networks. We'll be right back to you as fast as we can.